Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Cordell. Today we are going to be getting some building done, but the first thing we need to do is we need to get some sea lanterns for that building. So I am back at the underwater uh, underwater sea temple or whatever, and I'm going to be writing it for sea lanterns. I know there's farms that we can make, but we're not quite there yet, so we're just going to do the easy way and get, um, get uh, the sea, sea lanterns from this temple using silk touch. Now... I did do a little off-screen stuff to get my stuff back. So I was going to do this last episode. Whoa, dolphins. I don't want to be in here just yet. I was going to do this last episode, but I, uh, unfortunately... God, I got really far away. These dolphins. Unfortunately died, and in dying, getting everything back is a pain that I don't want to have to go through again. So hopefully I don't die again. But we did get all the stuff to make an underwater conduit, so I'm going to do this, and hopefully this helps us out. How much will it help us out? I don't know. But it's better to have it than not have it, I guess, because having to worry about breathing underwater is kind of annoying. Boom, boom, just like this. A little quick, quick go-around for you guys who've never made an underwater conduit. I hope this doesn't mess it up. Boom. Wait. Yeah, okay, I did that right. Get out of my way, seagrass! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. No. Okay. Get a few bars of that oxygen. That's good, good oxygen. Hopefully, and so we're gonna get a bunch. Of, my goal to rain this dolphin stop. You're helpful, but yet not helpful at the same time. Um, my goal in writing this is to get a bunch of sea landings just for building purposes. And then maybe we can find a sponge room because we didn't find it last time we were here. Now we didn't look too hard. We really didn't have the resources to look too hard. But I got... Get that. And then we break that. It should work, right? Now we got... Conduit power. Nice. I don't know how far this goes, but hopefully it goes out pretty far. These guys are going to be annoying, but we do... You want some of this? You know what I forgot? I forgot something. Alright. Now that we got the sponge, we got the thing I forgot was the sponges, so we're back. Oh, dolphin, stop! Quit doing this to me. We're going. No more water. Stop. We will erase water from this world. And I know what you're thinking. It's like, well, now you got these sponges, but what what good is that gonna do? I brought a furnace. Yeah. Yeah. I'm intelligent. And some bamboo to melt that all up. Right. Now we can just get all these sea lanterns. Silk touch the sea lanterns. And we also can snag some nice decorative blocks while we're here. And two sea lanterns. I should put the wet sponge in this one. Clear out this room. Yeah. Look at that. Water's gone. Just like that. Poof. This is probably because it's not locked in, unfortunately. Give me that. Give me all these lanterns that are made of seed. Ooh, baby. You know, that's one thing. Normally in my world, I don't ever get to the point of... I don't ever... Not that I don't get to the point of um, collecting stuff from a seed temple. It's that I don't like, ever want to really care to. But the box is so nice. Like, sea lanterns are such a nice lighting source. I like having it's gonna be really nice. Something that I've not worked with a lot in my Minecraft world before. Let's continue down. Okay, we'll go in here. Oh, there's an up. There's a sponge room! We found the sponge room! Let's go. Wish I had a hoe with me. I didn't even think about it. Oh yes, the sponge room. The room that SpongeBob family lives in. This makes it nice. We're gonna because I do plan on building an under like a uh, guardian temple to um, get all these blocks. The thing that's crazy is I've searched around uh, the the um, ocean biome. There's like 14 within like 200 blocks. Not, not that many. Like a thousand blocks from this temple. There's like 14 underwater temples. So like we don't even need to make a farm because we just have that much, uh, that many temples that we like really will never run out. But I will be making a farm probably out of this one. Maybe if I can find a double, a double. Hey, who's, who's a better stop doing it? Sponge room. Sponge room. Sponge room. 
sponge room. Now we got a whole lot of sponges to clear out things. Okay. This is not good. We already just spawned in two, which is really nice. Like, this guy's like lost. Alright, I'm gonna keep clearing things out, guys, and then I will get back to you. If I find another sponge room, I'll get back with you guys. If, uh, you know, I, I get this whole thing and there's nothing really too much more interesting. I get all the sea landers I need. I'll get back with you guys. Uh, either way, I'll come back and then get a quick checkup on you with you guys. Alright, we are back from the the old underwater temple. And it wasn't as fruitful as I, it could, it probably could have been, but those things are still pretty strong. The, the guardians are still kicking my butt. I'm not quite in the position to take them out, but we got enough sea landers. It's kind of what I got from the hall, all my sponges, and then whatever I, I mind. But I mainly was going after sea landers. Um, that's because we are today working on the water part of the, the dock. So if you come, if we come over here real quick. And kind of give you guys a little look, see what 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 I'm thinking about we'll getting this boat. What I want to do is have like a move, move, move. I want to have a foundation um, for this dock. So all these wood pills are sticking up, but I want it to like have some kind of like retaining wall holding back underneath. So I'm gonna like kind of dig out um, underneath and build up retaining walls to make it look like it's holding back a bunch of soil. And then I mean it's still like creep into the wall but I just want to dig it out and then it kind of be a little flat face across here and go all the way around with the as far as my dock goes but what we're looking at so I got the sea lanterns another um, another part of it will be getting basalt I have a basalt generator set up uh, and we're collecting basalt as I go along and then we're gonna and I'm gonna jump into creative so I can show you what I'm working with what I want to create with um, the resources I have. Okay guys, we're in a design world and this is kind of the idea that I'm going with. So this is what's gonna be under the water. Uh, now, this is very basic, very basic stuff. It does look okay. I mean, it it gives it a little depth being pushed back, but I'm having like a sea lantern to light up the underwater area. Cause I think it's gonna make it look real cool if you're walking at night and you can see all the lights underneath the water. I think that's gonna be a great idea. And then we got these pillars to make it look like it's a, uh, it is a, like waterlogged version of the oak planks that are coming sticking out of the top and the cobblestone just because you know stones usually used to like concrete's usually used to hold back dirt now i have been watching so one guy that i watch a lot on youtube just because he uh his his uh videos are really entertaining and i learn a lot from him is his name's b building with b double and this is kind of where my whole series comes from based off his his name's b double he has a series called building with b double that's where my my series kind of gets the inspiration from and he's been talking about recently about not like having um like you could have this and repeat a bunch of things or a bunch of times um, and it, it looks okay, but it, it doesn't look as good as it could be. So I'm taking that aspect of like trying to break things up and make, cause this is going to be, uh, in between each of my pillars. So I'm going to take that aspect of, and try to break it up, and make it look as possible. And this is what I kind of came up with. So, so like, yeah, we're going to have the two, um, pillars with the background and the sea lantern, but in between those, we can make each one of these walls like very, cause like very greatly, like we have stairs that we can play with. We got cobblestone walls that we can play with um moss blocks that i'm gonna be using just so like it looks like the grass is kind of growing into the the retaining walls and then here we can kind of give it a gradation well of the logs how um the water is affected each pillar differently and then we can use lichen to kind of make it view like a transition into that dark really soaked up water um log so I think that, because like if you look at the two of them side by side, the right one looks okay, but then you look at the left one, you're like, oh, there's a whole bunch more detail, there's a lot more depth, um, and really just by using the same blocks, just, you know, converting them to stairs or walls, and maybe adding a few things here and there, but um, I think that this looks a lot nicer, and then I also did throw like stone up top, because that's the part that people are going to see, you know, so like that gets maintained maybe a little more, it's got more care to it than um, most of what's underneath this is a lot harder to care for this is a lot easier to care for so i think that this is what i'm going to have kind of going all the way around and I'll, I'll get back to you guys whoa um and show you what i mean and I'll, I'll get one area cleared out and then cut back and have all this maybe and then start building it show you what my process is and then show you what it's going to look like in each section 
but that is my idea i think this looks real way better than this over here so so this is the area that i have carved out now i'm gonna try to get three pillars done here or three areas done but i got everything kind of pushed back we're gonna pull, probably rank pull out this pillar just because we're gonna make it match the the bay as we go along and this will probably all get shoved back as we go but right now i just got these three but this is how this is what i'm thinking guys so like when it hits water i mean it could be it could be uh oak and then we go like is this dark oak is this, is this spruce did i not grab the dark oak well i will be right back now that we have the dark oak we can get continue um but like we go down here and make it dip, transition and now we got this one little three here make it lichen to look like it's transitioning into this really dark basalt right is that the right one I put out the right area nice and go all the way down here make sure so like you got an open face you want to make it covered make it look like it's not going straight to the going into nowhere we're gonna rip out i don't have ooh, i don't have a log we'll get fixed that later but so now that we got we got mossy stone go here so this is a little bit different than what actually than what i was showing earlier due to the fact that see how it's offset it's not flat um so it's gonna be a little bit more of a transition that we're gonna have to figure out we can go here bring it up just a little bit now push through with the cobblestone so i'm gonna i'm gonna start by making it flat as much as as much as i like and then we'll come back through and make everything look more um detailed. so this is where i'll push it out with the the stone here Boom. So now that we got a flat flat wall, right? It looks kind of bland, like a, kind of boring. But come up here. Ooh, it's nighttime. Scary nighttime. Now we can take a sleep. No monsters will spawn. Let me get. I know I have. Place this right here. We need these. Okay, we're probably gonna use a couple because it's so tall. And then we'll get this. Give me. Give me some stone walls. Um, that'll get a couple more stone stairs. I think that'll be enough for this, at least this one. And then, do I have... I just have cobblestone. I don't have my normal stone, but we can change that real fast by doing this. We're having a few, we're having a few stone pieces that we ain't going to see. Give me this. All of that. One, two, all that. Is that the right one? Oh, I have stone now. Nice. Okay. Let me get some more stone stairs. Okay, so this will come up. We'll pop it here. Oh, wrong stair. Wrong stair. Come on. Come on, Ford. You can get it. One, two. Maybe like take it like that. And then we could put something here to make it more of a transition. But for now, I don't like that actually, due to the fact that this, these stairs are here. Hmm. We're gonna have to figure something out with that. But we'll keep continuing on with the, with the. We'll put one sea lantern here. Bam, sea lantern. Go up one, two, one, one, two, three, four. How does that look? That sounds scary. One, two, I like that. Okay, now we can take all of our stone ingredients, ingredients and start playing with how we want to set them in. Not this stone ingredient. Why did I? We'll take, we gotta swim around here. We're gonna need my cobblestone. Cause you gotta have a back, otherwise it doesn't look as good. Where did my cobblestone go? I did. Transition cobblestone! Listen to me. Do the thing I want you to do. Bam. Got that. Transition 
you know, a wall right here. We'll put a cobblestone right here. Put a wall. Got to have cobblestone on the other side, though. Otherwise, it's not going to work. <laughs> so this is a lot more detail-oriented. You got a lot to have a lot more faces that will be showing. But it does add that, you know, that broken feel of the cobblestone, giving it more depth. And, like, it doesn't have to be cobblestone behind. Like, you have some dirt showing. You know, it's holding back the wall. I do like that. Um, break this one. Just the randomosity that you can put into this is going to... is make it, makes it look so much nicer, in my opinion, than what um, just stairs, like, or just normal slabs look. And we probably get some two stone, I wonder. But now you come back, and it looks like it's transitioning. This will look better once I get another... Um, pillar in place, but I need, I need an axe. Then we'll do the same thing on these two. So we've got one, wait, yeah, one, two. We'll just go down. Where's it? Give me my basalt. Follow this path. So this one, my directly above it. Bam, right there, right there. Boom. I don't want it on the same depth, so we'll change it. We'll go dark oak. Hits pretty hard, then we can just register the spruce oak real fast. Bam, bam. Now we got my lichen out. Bam, lichen, lichen. Different depths. Is that put it on this side? Yep. Okay. Boom. So now that we have that, like, so now we can get a nice, nice wall going, nice retaining wall, and when we're walking through it, it'll look real nice. So I'm gonna get these two other sides done, and then I will meet back with you guys to kind of get an overall how it's gonna feel. So everything is peaceful. So after a little bit of work, we've got a nice little foundation going, nice retaining wall underwater. Really love how this came together, you know, all the different aspects of, uh, you could just, what you could do with stairs, uh, walls, and stone is just incredible. Like I said before, that this is inspired by B00. Um, if you guys don't, haven't checked him out, don't know who he is, I highly suggest I'll even leave, well, yeah, I'll leave something in, in the comments or the... the the description but man he's incredible burden this is kind of where i got the premise of just changing some things up making it look different constantly and it adds so much detail to 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 this lifts and i think this foundation really will really look good once everything's kind of arching around and follows this whole trajectory that i have going on here but i think that is where i'm going to end today's episode i got you know i got a little bit done um in terms of building i think in between episodes i'll, I'll extend it even more maybe extend the upper part and maybe even do a little bit of this to the top part and then when I come back I can explain whatever I did if I did choose to or not um, but in the next episode I hope to try to start working on some roadways in my village because I think that's going to help lay out where I'm going to put things more than just those old blocks I placed a couple episodes back so I do hope you guys look forward to seeing that and um, for now that's where I'm going to call this episode and until next time peace